Hey, what's going on guys? Boost the Whips here. Today we're going to be installing the Michimoto catch can. As you guys can see, you get your can here. You get the two hoses, your clamps, um, your actual fittings, a bracket, and um, some washers that you're going to need. So for this installation, you're going to need a 7mm uh, socket with a wrench. You're going to need a 10mm uh, wrench, a 14mm wrench, a 17mm wrench, a 2.5 uh, millimeter uh, Allen key some pliers. I have this actual uh, plastic pry tool there um, Which should help facilitate removing the hoses um, the stock OEM hoses, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the process and walk you guys through until it's fully finished All right, the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and remove the PV PVC hose which gets connected here and down here this top area um, what you want to do once you remove the uh, clamp, you're going to use some pliers to open the uh, secure clamp here. And then once you push it down, um, the hose is kind of stuck on this piping here. So what you want to go ahead and do is use a, um, a pry tool or something like that plastic so you don't break the hose. And you want to get in the inside and kind of release that pressure from the actual hose. And then you're going to maneuver and push back. The one at the bottom is a little bit tricky. There's a connector in the way, which is this one here, which is goes on this clamp. I went ahead and I disconnected as well, just to give me enough clearance. And then I also removed this secure push clip, which gets uh, connected down here. Um, so that gives me enough clearance to get the pliers in there. And then you do the same, you push the clamp back and then you're gonna use a pry tool to get into the bottom of the hose, kind of move and then maneuver and push out. It takes some time, this took me the longest. Um, it took me about 10, 15 minutes to try to just maneuver and learn the process here. So, you know, by giving you these tips, you should be able to save some time and make your process easy. So once you remove that, we'll go ahead and go to the next step. All right, the next step is adding on the actual bracket from the Mishimoto catch can. So you wanna go ahead and unfasten this screw on here. I used a 14 millimeter wrench. So what you do is, you can go ahead and push this back a little bit, and then this comes off. Obviously, I already loosened this, so what you want to do is leave enough space so that the uh, bracket comes in there, and you're going to use the very first stud, which is right here, and you're going to use a washer and the supplied 10 millimeter uh, nut that they provided here, and that's how you're going to secure the bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and add on the bracket. We're gonna go ahead and put the washer here. Like so. And we're gonna go ahead and secure the 14 millimeter nut there and the 10 millimeter at the bottom. All right guys, I went ahead and already fastened the uh, bracket. I ran into an issue where the uh, stud broke off. Uh, this bottom screw, just wanna be careful that you don't over tighten it or over torque it. Um, it was not feeling like it was tightening at all, so I kept going, but eventually that stud broke. So that's a little uh, backside there, but I did secure it. If you guys notice there, I secured it with um, Phillips head uh, screw there with a large enough head which actually fits perfectly into the hole that the stud created so I was able to go ahead and fix that like that um, but do keep in mind this issue that I ran into all right next step you want to go ahead and do is open up the catch can and you want to go ahead and lubricate this area here you also want to lubricate the fittings the hole and the actual fittings what I did is I use actual oil from the motor to kind of lubricate this here um, once you have that done, you want to go ahead and close the catch can. Like so, until it's fully tightened. The one with the larger opening goes on the out. The one with the smaller opening goes into the in port. And then what we want to do is go ahead and tighten this with a 17 millimeter wrench. Just hand tight is enough. And 
and you're good to go for the next step. All right, guys, the next step you wanna go ahead and do is go ahead and remove the three Allen screws from the actual catch can, put on the uh, can under the bracket, and then put the screws on top. What you wanna do is go ahead and tighten these by hand, but don't tighten all the way. So that way you're able to maneuver, as you guys can see here, until the hoses are connected. Then we can go ahead and finally tighten the bracket onto the catch can and then we'll finalize that. So let's go ahead and move to the next step. All right, next step is to go ahead and prep the hose. So you're gonna go ahead and grab the long one and you're gonna put the two uh, smaller clamps and that one's gonna go on the fitting that's at the bottom area. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera so you guys can see. And then the larger one is gonna go on the top area with the larger clamp. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, hose here. So it goes on to that fitting on the PVC side. And this goes on the smaller fitting and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the clamps and we're gonna secure that one on each side and this is why this is important so that way you can kind of maneuver this um, before tightening it down once we have the clamps and the hoses nicely secured we can go ahead and secure the screws I'm gonna go ahead and put the larger holes here and then uh, we'll move to the All right, so the larger hose or thicker hose, should I say, goes up here. And we're gonna go ahead and put it on the can. Secure it. And make sure it's all the way to the edge and all the way to the edge. And we're gonna go ahead and secure the clamps now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten on the screws here and then we'll tighten on the clamp. All right guys, installation is now complete. All the clamps are tightened down. Connectors are all back on where they should go. And that is it. If you guys have any questions, comments, go ahead and drop them below. Thanks for watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, boost the whips. I'm out. Have a very pleasant day, and God bless.